off by posing you a question. Does school actually prepare you for life? Because it's, I'm almost 15 now and I feel that there's some gaping holes in my knowledge. Sure, I know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared, that oxygen travels around our body in red blood cells and how to analyse Shakespeare. But what have I not been taught? I don't know how to pay taxes, apply for a job, get a house or vote. And arguably, I think these things are much more important. So why is school like this? Why doesn't it teach us these useful skills? I believe the reason for this is its origins. British schools as we know them started in the 19th century during the Industrial Revolution. And at the time, most people would go on to work in factories. So naturally, this is what schools prepared students for. That is why they sat in neat rows, working silently, listening to their teacher. So that when they went into their factories, they could stand in neat rows, working silently, listening to their boss. In short, they wanted robots. And although technology may have entered classrooms and curriculums may have shifted slightly, school has largely stayed the same. Prioritising subjects prioritised back then, valuing attributes valued back then and refusing to change. Some of you may be thinking, school has worked for hundreds of years, so why change it now? But in reality, I don't think it has. Because if school had worked, then some of the most successful people in the world, like Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs, would not be school dropouts. These people didn't become successful through following every rule to the letter or fearing the authorities like we're taught in school. They did it through being creative, independent and different. Researchers now know how to develop these currently advantageous qualities in students, but also how to teach students how they can learn at their best. But surprise, surprise, these aren't being incorporated into schools. Instead, we have a system made for a generation long gone. The world outside is changing. Schools should change with it. So you may be, th you may be wondering, how can we change schools? For one, we can make it more relevant. We can teach students valuable life skills, but also teach them how to apply them to an everyday situation. I remember the lesson where we dissected a heart to see how it worked and the one where we went out into the park and worked out the height of a statue using trigonometry because they were fun and relevant. And so that made them memorable. I've had teachers in my time that have said school is not supposed to be fun, but you know what? I don't remember their lessons. And I think that this is valid evidence that school should not be taught like this. I also think that school should be encouraging students to question everything they're told and make change. School should be preparing students for the future, not the past. And you know what? The future doesn't need robots. It needs creative, independent thinkers who can change our world for the better.